We need to learn from Julie's mistake and never allow that to happen. We need to remove the risk of leaving a sleeping child on the bus. Don't let anything be a reason to not check for sleeping students before leaving your bus. In fact, you're required to check your bus for sleeping students at the end of every route. This means after you have dropped the students off at the school and after you have dropped your last passenger and before returning to the yard or park out. My last drop is on a busy street and I'm blocking traffic while I'm checking the bus. People get agitated and hit their horns. Is this okay? A great point. Sometimes, after you've dropped off the last passenger, if your bus is blocking traffic or in a place that creates risk, it may make more sense to drive a short distance to a safer parking place and check your bus without rushing. Establish the safest routine and then follow this routine every day. So, what is the best way to check for sleeping children and also to look out for items left behind at the same time? There are two possible procedures with good and bad points to each. The first option is checking one side at a time. As you walk to the back of the bus, only check one side of the bus, looking on and under every seat. To help make sure you don't miss any, touch the top of every seat as you walk slowly to the back of the bus. Next, as you walk back to the front of the bus, look on and under every seat on the other side. Again, touching the top of every seat as you walk slowly down the aisle. The second option is checking both sides as you walk to the back of the bus. And again, when you return to the front of the bus. Start by walking slowly to the back, looking on and under the seats to your left, then turn and look on and under the seats to your right. Step forward one row and repeat the procedure. Follow the same pattern as you return to the front of the bus. Remember to always close any open windows from the inside of the bus. This will create additional opportunities to notice a passenger who may have remained on board. Now, in most cases, a child is left behind because they're sleeping. However, there have been instances of the child not wanting to get off the bus and trying to hide, or a child with a special need being left on the bus. Your job is to make sure that no one is left on the bus. If there is a monitor or helper on the bus, both they and the driver are equally responsible for ensuring that no sleeping children are left on the bus.